Yep. Again, first time for Raylo out here uh, making top eight. So definitely nothing to scoff at, especially with the Can't amount of talent that was stacked battle. up here. But here we go from one Brian to the next. Azeem X going against Slowpoke. Too tough game in Slowpoke. This is going to be our winner's side top eight. We're done with the losers for now, but we're going to the winners. Remember what I was saying earlier? You get your Paul, and what, what do I get? What, what do I finally get? Slowpoke out on King. Exactly. Oh Equivalent exchange. Or excuse me, slow bro. I did not know he evolved like that. Mm -hmm. He's built different. I didn't know you were Same. chill like that. I didn't know you were chill like that slow part of <laughs> Uh-oh. Looking for the wall. Finds it. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Finishing snake eyes. Smart stuff. Staying grounded right there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Giant swing right into the wall, question mark? Yep. Damn. Could throw him out of bounds. He's just gone like that. It's gotta hurt. Imagine it's like dead or alive where you could throw him out of bounds. Oh no. Muscle armor. Uh oh, Giant Swing again. This time gets teched. Huh. Oh, he's reaching for it. No duck on a forward two one. one. Is he back two Damn. one or forward two one? That is back two one if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Then again, oh, I might be wrong. Stutter. That tomahawk though. Damn. Oh man. The back two finding its mark there to be able to close out that round. An intense match right now. That was only round one. Damage. Never mind, Azim combos coming out to play. Jet upper. Drops the combo immediately, but it's okay. We got. Get up. Azim absolutely not trying to let a king smother them, but that's that backbreaker. The forward 2 4 is really no joke. And why are they going that down oh. to instead having to settle for the giant swing again? And doesn't hit the wall, but out in the open, leave yourself vulnerable. That almost was mm -hmm. a whiff punish. Azim, however, just able to recover. Catch a slow poke on low. Looking real strong right now. And again, we don't, I was just talking about earlier, we don't see too much of Azim's Brian because he mm -hmm. likes to play the, the Dragon Off, the Steve Fox, the Fang Wei. But again, even when he pulls out a character, he's not really, like, he doesn't play too often. He still dominates with it. Oh my gosh. That was just nasty. Sidestep jab straight into that forward, forward hold, and then the two, <laughs> just the running power bomb is some disrespect. Muscle armor, straight in that down hit. He's going for it again. No, right in the groin and on the low mm, four. Mm, mm. Yeah, something really popular with King players, they like to do that little flex, uh, the flex owl or whatever, the, mm -hmm. the, the Jaguar howl, and then just immediately goes to the forward four neutral too. Me personally, I always like to run that muscle armor straight into Emerald Elbow because it is just some sick stuff. Not only just get a little bit of that life lead in you. Oh, ow. Not like that. Okay, I got a little scared there. I thought Slowpoke was out here going for the chain combos like this, but that is going to be the perfect tomahawk mm. on Azim. The running knee. And the high four forward. The final round, Slowpoke and Azim. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Figure four. Not a leg breaker. Oh, he tried it. He kicked some off. Oh, forward one. Find his mark. Oh yeah. Man, I'm looking forward to that leg lock combo. No duck and now forward two one. Is... Awesome. Oh, oh no! Seen it. He was ducking since yesterday. Uh oh, drops oh. the combo. Oh no! Don't let oh, yourself no. the corner like this. Leg drop. Down forward Another four. one. Down back four. Oh god! One more hit's gonna do it. Oh! And the oh. full crouch low. My man. Azim taking the first game over Slowpoke. Slowpoke was a little slow to start, no pun intended, but, uh, you know, you know you starting to heat up a little bit. And uh, I see, he's looking I see good. what you did there. So I'm, I'm cooking a little bit. I'm cooking. Are you cooking, cooking? Don't let me take your chef privileges away now. Oh, man. Mm hmm. Yeah! And down one again. Stagger. Slowpoke at least able to Jaguar step back out of it. I at least want to go for that grab. Azim, however, just able to duck right out of it. Back in heat all over again. Just a carry across the floor. Slowpoke now against the wall. Oh, man. Sidestep. He first. That did a chunk of damage. One more hit. Should be oh. able to do it. Oh, he ducks the... <laughs> that was not the right punish, but uh, he'll take the follow-up. <laughs> what a sequence of events. <laughs> he ducks the down back four, and it just orbitals. Oh, not the Emerald Elbow! Just some disgusting stuff. One of my favorite moves, too. If it works, it works! Just a little sidestep. 
to one combo confirm saying step off groin hit Ellie, you know what come forward again i have muscle armor this time just uh -oh. expect cho oh, that's a choke out <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty smart, because, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, every single time Slowpoke has gone on that approach, he's been doing the giant swing, so he baited him into thinking it was another giant swing, tossed him to the wall. Just even ended on that one for grab, sick with it. Oh, mid, didn't find the counter hit confirmed, actually could have ducked in that. He's reaching right now. Oh, yeah, giant swing again, but this time takes it. Broken. Yeah! Wow, traded right there. The oh, didn't walk far me. enough. Oh, gosh. Step out of it. Okay, I see the vision. I see what Kasim could possibly be cooking here. Combo Back confirmed. Finally, counter hit. Should be looking for wall carry. Finds it. Careful, heat smash. Gonna use uh -oh. it. Gonna go what? under the throw. Oh, that's so unfortunate, too. And just like that, set point here for Azim to move on to winner's finals. Me again in the high forward. Whoa! What? Went for the groin hit. Azim just saying, you know what? I'll deny that real quick. That's not going to work out for me, brother. You you think you're the real wrestler here with you against the wall. Just the machine to stagger hits on that one. I'm trying to snake bite, but then slow Dude. was. He just sidestepped. He just sidestepped Jet Upper and Kidding. then dropped the easy part of the combo. Oh, this dude Azim is uh, pretty good at Tekken, man. Does the hard stuff, the drops the easy stuff. Yeah, Forget nerfing uh, the character. I think we just might need to nerf Azim at this point. I mean, this dude's about to go to King next, man. He's going to be like, man, King looks fun. I'm going to play him next and just win a tournament. Ridiculous. If Azim switches to King, I think at that point, I just might as well quit Tekken. Because not only would I have like Lil Maj to be afraid of, I'd have that to be afraid of. And on Brian, of all people, that would just, you know what? I'm not going to think about it for now. That's a scary thought to put out in the back of my mind, but I will say, and no, this is not bias, but really with that damage, Slowpoke making good utilization of a lot of these lows, especially the giant swings into that wall, but Azim coming through with the Brian was really just something to behold the entire time. But yeah, again... We saw we started to see the slow adaptation from Azim, uh, not slow enough to the point where he would lose a game, but slow enough where he was just getting kind of caught a few times, like from the armor and the forward forward neutral two. But again, once he started to make that that realization, you saw him actually call out the low and orbital over the uh, lows, and uh, I think maybe that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to bait a get up kick right there, and he was trying to orbital over the get up three. So. Uh, good stuff from Azim. I mean, again, just being able to recognize what the opponent is doing and using the right tools in that scenario is just very difficult for a lot of players, let alone mm -hmm. on their, like, their third, fourth, fifth, or sixth pocket character. And especially against the king, because the last thing you ever want this six foot four, 300 pound tank to do is just smother you at any angle, whether it be grabs or a lot of these power crushes. And Azim just made sure, you know what? I'm not letting that happen. Wall stun galore at this point. Good stuff, Azim. Moving on to winner's finals. Top three guaranteed finish out here. And Slowpoke moving down, unfortunately, to the loser side. Still in top six territory, but uh, he's got to make the run through the losers. And understandable. I will say, Law of Equilibrium Exchange, your Paul got to go forward. My king still has a little bit of a ways to go. But you know what? If that's how it's supposed to be, then so be it. I can't be upset about it. I will later, though. Oh, how about this, though? 